you see what I've been through today my trucks right there I can see it right there and look what I just done so we have a brand new permission today I've detected on the neighboring farm and found a few things uh, but when I was doing some research last night on this farm it looks like there's a ford that goes across the river here and a home site that sits there now i've actually been in the river here looking for that ford i don't remember really finding much but i talked to the neighbor and he said sure have at it a huge property so what we're going to do is hike through the woods um this morning and look for the uh, fort uh, the road trace coming down the hill because it's very clear on google maps i can see where there's an old road that comes down off of some high banks and crosses the river so i think we'll be able to find that and if we can find that that home site will be there so hopefully we'll find that if not maybe we'll find something else lots of caves in this area i've already crossed a couple sinkholes just getting to here so uh nothing else might turn out to be a caving video <laughs> we gotta get scooting though because daylight's burning it's gonna rain all day tomorrow and high winds for two days after that still heading cross country have not found anything old yet here was some deer out in front of us. Uh, I wanted to show you something. I find it very fascinating, of course. If you look out across here, you can see it's wooded. There's lots of rocks sticking up. Um, you would think that maybe this has never been plowed because it doesn't look like good soil. But if you look at the rock piles closely, you can tell that it has been plowed. Now that might have been, it probably was with horses. It could have been 100, 200, 300 years, no, well, not 300 years ago, but 200 years ago, easy. And I'll show you how I can tell. A big rock there. You come over to this rock, big rock, you see all the little rocks on top? And there's no rocks out here, but we're walking just a scattered big one or two. And you come to another rock pile with little rocks on top. And the same here, another rock pile, little rocks, a rock pile, little rocks, and there's it's like that all through this woods. What that tells me is that this was plowed and they actually came out here and picked up the rocks and just put them on the other rocks because Jenny Kush can't, couldn't move the big ones. That's pretty neat. A little clues like that. Tells me that this was not a woods forever. And look at this tree over here. What's call that? Well, you look at it. Tell me what you think it looks like. Isn't that bizarre? This is called a shag bark hickory tree because it's got shaggy bark, like you know, like the mane of a horse or something, or someone has shaggy hair, you know, long hair. It's a hickory tree, so it'll have lots of nuts on it in the fall. So it's a good tree to have around. You don't see too many shag barks around anymore. All right, that way. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath, but troll train. I'm trying to get to that, where I think that home site is. So we're gonna hunt that today. I need to find it and hunt it before everything grows up and gets real green. But I wanted to show you these rocks over here. I am detecting as we go along, but I'm moving really fast up and down the hill. Same thing with the rocks. You notice how they're all, all the little ones are piled up on the big ones. And they stretch off into the woods just like that. Now that almost looks to me like uh, some of these Civil War campsites that you find where they stay here in the winter time. They made chimneys out of the rocks and the bricks. And you'll see them like that in the woods, but this is obviously not what this is. For one thing, there's no relics here, no nails or anything. I've been looking uh, and it's just randomly piled up on these big rocks right here. But look at them all going through the woods. All the way over here. I'm gonna look around here some more for sure. But if this was a uh, Civil War campsite, there'd be nails everywhere. All right, let's keep moving. Now this is promising. I'm almost to where I think the house is. Well, we might actually pretty much be there. Just started hitting a little bit of iron in the ground, a little bit of some blobs. Sometimes that can be fence wire if there was a fence that cut across here, or nails from an old home site. In the blips and blobs was a big, bigger signal, bigger iron signal. So I dug it up to see uh, what it was, to see if it was a fence or if maybe I'm getting close to the house. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, well, I think we're getting close to a house. This is pretty cool. This is uh, hand wrought. Um, it's probably like a hinge, and you can see the end here, you know, where you put the nail, and that's that's good, you know, handcrafted work. So, except if there was a oh, house. Oh, God, I'm such a mess. Oh, I just poked myself. Uh, my hands are like really a mess. I apologize if you're freaking some people out, um, but yeah, I've had some accidents lately. 
a little bit of frog in my throat because I got sick from my buddy uh, Tom. We were caving and uh, he was really sick and now I'm sick. So thanks Tom. All right, let's go find some relics or some big gold coins. I just dug that hinge right over there. So I started working my way toward the cliff here. Uh, the river's down below. I'll show that to you in a bit. Got more and more iron and that's all these rocks. I came over, look at them and I think this is a foundation. Don't believe it's a house, but it's some type of outbuilding. If you look here, you can see how they're in a line right across there. And it goes up, 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 up. There and comes back around. And the ground has actually been flattened out. And it might be hard to see on the camera. But if you look, you can see there's like a little ledge right there. So there was something here. Somebody flattened it out and had uh, at least a foundation. So maybe there was a little cabin or outbuilding or Civil War hut site. We'll know in a minute. Lots of iron here, so I'm very hopeful. Don't see any iron on the rocks either yet. Like we're some rope has been digging. I'm pretty sure that's the ravine we want to go to. Right down there. So I think we're really, really close. Before I forget, I just want you to listen to the iron that I'm hearing right here at this foundation. I haven't actually started digging anything yet. I'm using the Garrett AT Max today. I have zero discrimination because I want to hear everything. Okay? Listen to how much iron is in this area. That's telling me that there was something going on. Listen for some squeakers. Definitely a lot of iron, huh? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and search around until I get a good target out of the ground, and we'll look at it together, and then I'll uh, mark some spots and we'll dig them. I think I can hear water, so I think the river's right down there. One more thing. <laughs> One more thing, just like Columbo. I'm just putting my, uh, I was putting my camera in the bag. And, you know, I just said, I think that's the river down there. And as I put my camera in the bag, I glanced across. And I can see a rock wall over there. I think that is maybe a chimney. I don't know. It's really hard to see, but it's right there. And it uh, kind of blends in because it's limestone. So it's gray. That might actually be the home site. So let's work our way over there and see what it looks like. I went ahead and just turned the detector off. Let's just go up there and look at it. Yeah, that's definitely a big pile of rocks. If we can get to it. <laughs> the path right there we could have come out on, I guess. Let's see what that is. I would say that's not natural. You know, I don't, oh yeah, that's a big foundation. Look at that. So right now, I am actually halfway through today's hunt. Um, I'm not sure how the beginning of this video is going to be or how the whole video is going to be because I was looking for an old home site I saw on a map um, and I found it now unfortunately the farmer allows people to hunt here and his tree stands everywhere so a lot of people come to this property and I don't want anybody to recognize this property <laughs> until I'm finished hunting it so uh, there's a beautiful foundation behind me uh, with you know chimney pile and stuff but I'm not going to show it to you because the local competition is pretty stiff uh, I am looking for a home that is along a river and I could see that there was an old road that crossed here. This is the roadbed right here I'm standing in. And it comes down. And you can clearly see it going that way. And crosses the river. Now, I'm not going to even show you the river. Because the local guys are pretty pretty brutal around here. You know, and I can be too. Because I recognize places by just a picture. And I'm not too far from my house. So, um, when there's a lot of diggers around. So, I'm not going to show you that. Anyway. Lots of scenes coming up, me finding stuff, some really cool. I still have like three hours of hunt, so I have no idea what else I'm gonna find. Um, but it's gonna be a little bit skippy, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I apologize for that up front. Let's get over there to that home site and dig it out. Well, here's our first artifact of the day. I did not get on camera because it was kind of a jumpy signal, but you know what it is? This is a spoon bowl. Now it's iron. That's probably why it was giving me a jumpy signal. Uh, but yeah, so that's our first you know, real artifact besides shotgun shells. <laughs> I did want to show you something else. Right behind me is a, uh, look at that. Anytime you see these, you know that you could be closer to an old home site. This is an oyster shell. And in this area, oysters were really popular like pre-Civil War. Uh, I mean, the soldiers ate a lot of them, so you find them in camp. But uh, from about, uh, well, pre-railroad really. After about the 1850s and 60s, the, uh, they quit carrying these from the shore. Because what happened in this area is the Teamsters, you know, the, the guys with the wagons and the horses, 
would take the produce, uh, you know, wheat and whatever, down to the coast, to the ports, so they could sell it overseas and whatnot. And they had to bring something back, or they wanted to, just like today. You know, the truckers want to bring something back. They don't want to come empty. So they'd load up with oysters. It was, you know, very plentiful down there, and apparently people liked them, just like they do today. So you find a lot of oysters pre-Civil War because the guys and the horses and the teamsters wanting to get a load to bring back, that's what they brought. After the Civil War, the railroads were around. Those guys were out of a job. They didn't bring it back from the coast anymore. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> so we have our first non-ferrous target, meaning not iron. I suspect it's probably part of a lantern. What do you think? Mm, don't know. <laughs> no, that's not part. I don't think it's part of a lantern. I don't know what that. It could be like a rosette even. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, that's probably a horse's rosette. Oh, it's got a set of C. Maybe it's Confederate. <laughs> probably just like a star or something in there. Um, yeah, this is a uh, bridle rosette probably. It would have been had lead in the back with some hooks. And that would have gone on the side of a horse's uh, face as a decoration. On the leather, not in the skin. <laughs> That's a good find, though. That's really, really cool. There's a nice signal here. It's almost too big, though. It's in the 60s. 60 could be iron, I suppose. But I want to take a chance. I think it was iron. Here goes. <laughs> Sorry. Man, I know it's not a belt buckle or anything because it doesn't read high enough. All right, yeah, see? It's a piece of iron. Look at some pottery. Is that pottery or I guess a rock? Hey. Let's see. Oh, yeah, a piece of crockery or something. Um, this is what I was hearing. I suspected it was iron, but it was nice and big, so. Oh, well, that's a lid to something. Kind of, some kind of rounder, so it gave a nice signal. Okay. You won't see me until we have a good target, I promise. It's like an ancient signpost, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't that wild looking? You know what it is? You know what does that? Woodpeckers going around, peck, 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 in lines all around the tree. Very strange. I don't know exactly why they were doing that. I don't think they were looking for bugs because you wouldn't, you know, have to go like that back and forth. In fact, they were just making art, doesn't it? Just for the art. Or maybe there's gold buried nearby and this is actually a key, a map to it. Uh, I'm not going to show that to you anymore. <laughs> just in case. Check out this neat old tree. This is probably a witness tree. I've been metal detecting around it to see if there's any, like, Civil War bullets in it. And by witness tree, what I mean is... It probably witnessed the activity that was going on here. Um, you know, you see them on Civil War battlefields and stuff, and that's what they call them. Uh-oh, signal right there. Let's see what it reads on the meter, though. Oy. Doesn't sound very big. No, nah, it's only reading the 50s. It's probably like a modern slug. Mini ball would read probably in the low 70s, so. Um, there's another one there. It's probably a bullet. Modern. There weren't any battles here that I know of. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. I did. <laughs> All right, let's get back to digging. I've actually worked my way back around to this old road bed. And earlier in the video, I probably had a clip where I talked about walking through the woods and listening for iron. Because uh, it could be, you could be getting on a civil war campsite or near an old home or something like that. But a lot of times it's a fence row. So you either have to dig a piece to see if it's a round piece of fence or a square nail or just figure out if it's linear, like if it's a narrow band that goes. And this is what I'm talking about. Here's an old barbed wire fence. And this it breaks apart and gets scattered in the woods. You know, in 100 years from now, there's just gonna be nothing but little pieces of iron in there. And uh, that's, this one's probably been there a good while. I mean, it's almost, it's falling apart for sure. All right, now for the lessons. I know I sound a little weird today. It's because I have a cold. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I got cold. I'm not feeling very well, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and um, get really, really windy for a couple days after that. So, so I've been digging for about an hour and I've not found anything old. Um, well, since I found the rosette, except for iron. Very perplexing place. A lot of iron here. I am digging shotgun shells and rifle casings, uh, but nothing old. But that the fact that I'm digging those things tells me that it has not been dogged out, you know. Because if you're in here hunting for relics or coins or buttons, you got to dig the shotgun shells and stuff. So, just not many non-ferrous items. But here's one. <laughs> you know what it is? 
Uh, yeah, well, anyway, a little disc here. I think it's only a piece of a lantern, if I had to guess. Yep, that's what it is. See, that's where the wick would go up through the center there. I guess the little holes are for air to breathe. Uh, but yeah, so that was a good signal. If it, this place had been dogged out, this wouldn't have been here. So I just can't figure out why we're not finding more stuff. I haven't found any buttons, not a single button. Usually they're everywhere in these old sites. Well, I just dug one of these. This is a harmonica reed. I'm digging all the questionable signals and big iron and everything. I'm not finding much of this type of stuff, unfortunately. Might have been hunted already, I don't know. Um, it's really weird. Here's a really, really good signal right here. Nice and solid. Around 80, it's almost too good. So I'm suspecting it's probably a beer can. Right in the leaves. I want to find out together. I don't think it's a plate. It's not quite reading high enough. Or bell buckle. It's not reading quite high enough. But no, It's not real big. Yeah, it could be a coin. It's not big like a can. There it is right in here. Here, let me... um get you closer All right, that should be better should be like right underneath this little bush here right in here it didn't sound like with a pinpoint it sounded pretty smallish so i don't think it's going to be a can i think like that but i don't want to dig with a shovel yet there it is what is it it's flat and i think it's copper can you see it right there <laughs> something flashed on my camera hopefully it didn't just die and it doesn't feel very thick though does it I don't know. Ah, it's a spoon. That's a spoon right there. You can see how it's curving around right here and right here. I think it's probably copper. Ah, there you go. Yep. Little spoon, little copper brass spoon. Beautiful, beautiful signal. And should be around somewhere if we can find it. Unfortunately, we're right against the side of the house, so just loaded with iron and nails. But I mean, that's about a plate size, isn't it? Ooh, maybe the next signal. Okay, we're just above where I found that spoon, about six inches. Got another signal here. Not quite as cheerful as the other one, but it's pretty good. Might have heard the camera a little bit on that one, but... Let me pinpoint it. Yeah, still deeper. There's so much iron in here, too. So, it's right in there. Probably down another three or four inches, at least. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like a buckle or a coin or anything, but... Might be something interesting. Pottery. Pottery. <laughs> Pottery. Alright. Should be getting close now. Of course what I heard with the uh, pinpoint should be the iron too, but Okay, something's substantial right there. That's probably what we're hearing with the metal detector. Let's see if we can get a little bit underneath it. Ah, there it is. You see it? It's the rest of the spoon. <laughs> sure enough, look at that. It's probably I scraped it too, didn't I? Unfortunately. Yeah, so that's the rest of the spoon handle. Unfortunately, I already threw the spoon in the bag. Let me get out for you. That was broken a long time ago, long before I found it. Just like that. Nice! It's a good sign that there's signals here. Kind of right in the foundation now, and I just dug this piece of iron. Looks like a big old plate or something, doesn't it? Pretty heavy. It's not. I don't think it's heavy enough for a frying pan, but it could be. And um, look at all the pottery in there. It's like a wash basin or something. All smashed up. I wish I could show you this foundation, but I'm not going to until we're done with the site. We're a little closer to being done. Some broken glass. Huh. Let's check the hole together. You can hear all the iron. Well, that signal might still be in a hole. Might be one right there, too. I may have dug something out of there. It sounds like... Let me put this down. There we go. Oh, shotgun shell right there. Look. That's probably what I heard. Although, it sounds like there's another signal right there. We'll go ahead and dig that together. Since you're here. I didn't really sound... I listened to it too good, so I'm not positive. It didn't sound very big, but... Can't give you a probability on iron versus oh, good stuff, but there's iron. I can see it. The more of that thing. Let's so dig this out just a little bit, see what's down there. 
part of my old plate that I was here. As I'm far, look at that broken glass. That's window glass right there. See how flat and thin it is? Very, very thin. I don't want to dig the foundation too much today because um, I'd rather just go ahead and hit the easy stuff first. I'll move this rock to it down there. I think this might be worth digging out the ground though. I think so. Look at all that stuff. Give me gold coins in there. You wouldn't hear them. Look at some of that glass. That didn't look very old, really. Yeah. It might not look old at all. 1900s. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, I saw a piece of uh, look like mason jar lid. Yeah, that's not very old, is it? Uh, I don't, I think it's, <coughs> excuse me, I think his house is a lot older than this, though. Because it's not enough junky to junk around. So this could have been where somebody, you know, farmer, the farmer was dumping here. Filling in the foundation, that's probably what that is. I can't imagine the house, the people were living here in this age. Because they would be stuff everywhere. And beer cans and stuff. Nice bones. We're definitely going to be digging this out later, but not today. Iron, iron, iron. That's the shovel. All right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna dig this thing out right here because I've got one more squeaker, then I'm gonna put it away. If it's something good, I'll show it to you. If not, I'm gonna keep moving. I have a super squeaker right there. Listen to it. It's reading nice and high on the meter. I have no idea what it is, but we'll find out together. You see it? Hopefully it's not like a mason jar lid. Sounds a little high for that though. I don't have my machine over here. Bring it by back. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, it's in this one anyway. Oh, there it is. What is it? Oh, it's really thick. It's not a coin, obviously. Ooh. Oh, it's part of a, I guess, a watch or a clock or something. I would guess. That's where all the gears would go inside of it. Really heavy, though. Yeah, that's something. It's worth keeping. We'll look for the rest of it, too. Give them a quick listen. Well, it's not in the hole, but we'll search right around here. I had a decent little squeaker in this hole, so I dug it out, and it's over there now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something good. Ah, no, look. <laughs> it's, it's not decent enough, apparently. I'll check the hole. I'm sure that's what it was. Those roundish iron things, I mean, they just sound so good. So that's probably all it was. Now, this is a weird signal. It's very, it sounds really deep, but it sounds good. I just want you to hear it before I dig it, just in case it's a belt buckle or a can. This, <coughs> excuse me. It's really deep, but it's got a good squeak to it and a good number. I think it's underneath that rock right there. And it's belt buckle size, so. See the beer can or the belt buckle? I'm gonna turn, I'm not gonna do it on the, with the camera because it's gonna take me a while to get down there. And I don't wanna run out of battery, so just hang tight. It's underneath this rock and root. Now it's probably just a big piece of iron. I've been digging a lot of iron that's been kind of squeaky today. Uh, but this is actually in the wall of what would have been the house. So just in case it's something really cool. I'm willing to waste some batteries. All right. No, I think, it, yeah, maybe it's up there just a little bit more. I suspect it's going to be iron. Like so much flat iron in here. It's kind of squeaky good. Okay. Looking for rust. All right, got a little bit of an edge there. It might be a rock, though. Yeah, it's a rock. Ah, it's a nail. Look. I don't think that's what we were hearing though. I'm gonna run, let's run the machine over it. Oh no. Oh, Bubba. Talk to me, Bubba. That's a beautiful signal. Should be right in here. Yeah, that sounded pretty good, that guy, man. It's not reading like that. Uh, a big brassy thing, but could be something good. All right. Oh, I might have moved it. Or much deeper. Oh no, it's much deeper. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna li listen to it one more time with this. Then I'm gonna uh, turn you off and get the shovel again. Yeah, still in there. 
All right, it's a lot deeper, so I'm gonna turn you off for just for a minute. Uh, I should be under this rock. I'm getting window glass and stuff out of here. I don't see anything yet, do you? It sounds so good. I want you to be here with me. There's something right here. Straight down a little bit deeper. Whatever it was, it's deep. I'm just really afraid it's gonna be like a big piece of flat iron stove or something. Oh, 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 oh,
See what it reads on the meter. Which was that thin. Well, silver would still read pretty high usually. Now 53, so it's awful low for silver, I guess. But what I tell you, I'm not so sure it isn't. What do you think? You think it's silver? Maybe it's silver plate. It looks like copper right there, doesn't it? Oh, maybe I had it, I had it up, uh, upside down. I don't know. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, well. That's pretty cool, though. I like it. It's like a cute little hatchet head. It's broken, unfortunately. Well, maybe it's just smashed down right there where they use it a lot. Smashing on rocks. <laughs> kind of cute, though. Nice little guy. Hand forged. Uh, I like it. It's got some... Uh, Got some history to it. Well, I missed this. Do you know what it is? That's a broken crotal bell, or like a little bell that uh, would be on a. Um, um, well, they would put them on like sleighs, you know, the um, sleighs. <laughs> yeah, sleighs, right. You know, a horse bell. So it'd be like uh, 20 of these, or 30 of these on a, on a uh, big leather strap. Jingle bells. And uh, they'd also use them to put on uh, animals like, you know, goats and sheep and stuff, too, that, so they could hear them out in the woods. Uh, but that's probably, around here anyway, it seems like I think most of them go from the uh, sleigh bells. Sorry I'm getting a little bit lazy with the camera. Um, I'm starting to feel a little peaked, so I'm trying to hustle along here. This is part of a lantern, another ah, piece of a lantern. I didn't hurt it because it's just a piece of junk anyway. Uh, but yeah, another lantern part. That's where the wick would go up through there, and you spin it like that to make the wick go up. And uh, yeah, it was down pretty deep. This thing you heard it pretty good. I found a couple things with it so far that I missed with the other one, but I can't really say I wouldn't have heard them if I'd gone over them with the other loop. But this one is, I do like this one for around here. So much lighter and get up in the cracks and stuff. Very crisp sound too, which is good well i did find this with the, the small coil that i missed with the big because this was actually a hole i had dug and it refilled and apparently i couldn't either didn't hear this or i heard something well i didn't hear it because i would have dug it uh, could have been two of them in the hole but still that's uh you know it's non fair so that's a good sign i definitely left that there bad bow all right so here's the deal um i'm gonna move off of this home site I'm, we're going to keep digging for a while longer, but I want to go over by where the roadbed is. We're going to follow it out a ways, and when we hit the property line, we're going to cut back across and see if we can find something else in there. We might hit the peripheries of this site a little bit longer, but I'm just very disappointed in what we're finding. And I'll show, it, show everything to you right now. Uh, I put the big loop back on, too, since we're going cross-country. Y'all ready to see the good stuff? <laughs> I wish there was some. This is pretty much it. I have a ton of iron because, uh, you know, I'm just digging all the big iron, anything that squeaked. One whole horseshoe. That was actually on the surface in the leaves. So this place could have been hunted before. You know, a lot, there's a lot of broken horseshoes here and just modern rifle cartridges, shotgun shells. Seen the crotal belt. Well, you've probably seen everything, but uh, spoons and little hatches. Pretty cool. It's been used very hard. And a bunch more broken horseshoes and of course the oyster shell and um the uh a lot of broken bottles in fact there is uh, one area up there i'm really really dying to get back into to dig out to look for bottles i'm probably not going to show you that clip because i don't want anyone if they recognize this spot to get in here before i get back because it might be a while before i get back because turkey season's getting ready to come in and i'm getting ready to go away on one of my little trips down south so uh, by the time I get back here and turkey season's out, this place is going to be a jungle, which means I'll have to wait till next fall. So, all right, let's get back and uh, hit the road. If we see anything good, I'll show it to you. If not, <laughs> I'm going to probably head back pretty quick because I'm getting a little bit hoarse and not feeling too well. So, far from such a downer, <laughs> I don't mean to be. Kind of working my way back to the vehicle and I'm um, not really finding a lot, but there's a lot of sinkholes here. And uh, holes in the ground that could be caves. So I'm actually sitting at one. I thought well, we'd take a look at it together. I got my trusty flashlight. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, let's take a quick peek at this and um, maybe we'll turn this into a caving video. You ready? So you can see it kind of goes down. I don't know how far animals are coming out of it though, because you can see mud there. I don't think it goes down too far. See anything? <laughs> 
I don't think so. <laughs> you know, the problem is, is of course, we're, um, there's a giant sinkhole right there, and uh, you know, any cave would be underneath that, and we're way above it in these loose rocks. But I suspect we'll find another hole or two before we get back to the truck, because we've got a, a long hike through some good territory. It's really weird looking out here. I'll, I'll show you some on, on the way. Uh, that's where we're sitting right over there on the rock looking at the cave and just it, this whole area is like this is covered with moss and there's rocks and just kind of spooky i tell you if it was any uh darker or like rainy it would be spook city <laughs> well it might be the day's not over yet is it so this is kind of cool i was cutting through the woods here and i looked over and i saw some old rusty buckets and uh, so i walked over here to see what that was all about i mean they don't look very old but there's obviously been a lot of dirt pushed around here some years ago and a lot of rocks and stuff. I want to show this to you. Um, but I think what they were doing is covering up a cave. It's pretty cool. Check it out. It's a tricycle cave. That's a tricycle right there. Part of the trash they dumped out. But anyway, there's a rock ledge that comes along. See that rock ledge? And that's natural, I can tell. Um, and they pushed all the dirt up over the top of it. But look at that. I don't think it might go down that way. I don't know how far off we can get in it, but it looks like a pretty good area. What do you think? Take a peek. Oh, dudes. Exactly what they were doing. They were covering this area over. But they didn't take the cave. <laughs> I don't know if you get that or not, but I do. Let's look on the other side. What was that? Oh, my pin pointer. <laughs> All right, so that goes down to, that's probably the same cave. And um, we'll take a peek down there, see, see if it goes anywhere. This might be an unknown cave. I hope. We'll find out. Maybe. <laughs> All right, you ready? We'll go down in there a little ways, just to see if it's big enough to come back to, because if it is, we'll come back with some buddies. Um, but let's check it out first. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm sick today. Um, I actually told my wife that I would stay home today, um, because she doesn't want me getting worse. But I looked at the weather forecast, and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, and then get really windy for two days, so I figure I can be sick then. <laughs> I hadn't tell her I left the house. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. I'm going to crawl down in here a little way, see what I can see. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what, I'm going to go down foot first, and get underneath there. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Apparently it's not as sturdy as it looked. Let's knock those out of here. And um, <coughs> that way it'll be bigger too. There we go. There. Watch your foot. Oh, there's a retriever up there. Look at that. All right, now that we have um, building the whole wood just push those on the side. I think there's plenty of room for all of this stuff. It doesn't go too far, did it? This is not like a thousand foot cliff there. A hundred foot cliff. Make sure these are a little bit tight. That's good, that's good. That's good enough. Alright, all right. foot first, guys. And I can probably kick some of this out of the way. Make it easy. I left my uh, pack and my phone out there, so. Park is kind of going to fall. Um, the phone's got my GPS on for the wife. She knows it actually can see exactly where I'm at. Um, I keep going. Don't know how far. Let's go a little bit further. Solid roof for sure. That's a good sign. No thousand foot chasms underneath underfoot. I don't think it's going to go too far, is it? Um, nope. Let's look around behind us. Make sure there's no raccoons coming down. Look how dark that dirt is. All right, so this is um this is all fill right here. That's where they're pushing those rocks over. I guess we can walk down here. It's big enough to walk in so far. I won't go too much further than this. Well, I don't think we can, actually. I just need you guys to listen. Listen good. All right, here we go. Nah, I didn't go anywhere. All right, this isn't too cool. Um, although we have a solid roof, that's just dirt right there. Where I guess they must have filled that in. That's a mouse nest or something. Um, this isn't. I don't think this is worth coming back to. I'm glad we stopped in at least. 
Yep. Not too good. All right, let's get out of here while we can. Of course, that could go down straight down 100 feet. Who knows? Held on by a tree root. That's the other side that we'd looked in, that other hole. Yeah. That's, it fell on my foot. Um, look at that. That keeps going back. I mean, I think it's just falling on the ledge, though. So, you see the top of that is uh, smooth, or like it's kind of brownish. That's from the uh, animals, I think. I could go that way, but I think that hill bottoms out. So, we'll call this one done. Whew. Top side. So I'm almost back to the truck, and there's a couple sinkholes here. Looks like you might have caves in them. This one looks pretty uh, fresh. <laughs> Hopefully, it goes somewhere. The owner has uh, cows out here, so I'm definitely going to cover this over for him. Look at that old bottle right there. Check that thing out. It's a cork top, but probably broken because there's plant in plants in it, but we'll take a look at it. Yeah, it looks like it goes down there, but I don't think we're going to be getting in there. Yeah, look at that. Let's drop a rock down there, see what we can hear. Maybe I drop that bottle. Wanna drop that bottle down there? <laughs> just kidding. Um, let me find a rock. What we gotta do is just listen, see how much it tumbles. Ready? Here's one. That goes down a ways. Put some logs over the hole so the cows don't step in there. But let's check that bottle out. I would imagine it's gonna be broken with the plants in it, but who knows? Laying like that, the water can get in it in the wintertime, freeze and crack it. And that's exactly what happened. All right, we'll put it back. It's interesting that there's bottles. A bottle there, though. I think it'd be a nice dump back here somewhere. Look at this little hole here. You see the water runs down. It's all eroded. Um, but I don't think it goes... Oh, you know what? There's a dump here. Those aren't that old, but... I'm seeing some other stuff in here. That's not that old either. Hmm. The thermos or something. I got my shovel. I'm going to dig in here just a minute. See if there's anything older than that. Um, if we can get to the age of that whiskey bottle up there. That'd be, I'd be happy with that. Started to dig in there. And there's a lot of bottles. Of course, not very old. Beer bottles. But you kind of wonder why they put them right here at the base of that rock. Maybe there's not a cave here or something. But I don't want to dig down because sometimes... Yeah, you know, it could be an older dump underneath this stuff. This is all pretty new, though. It's weird they dumped them right there. They're all the same. I can't remember what kind of beer that is, but I don't know if it's Budweiser or what. It might say right there, does it? No deposit, no return. Not to be refilled. Yeah, no idea. Ugh, look nasty in there. That's about as much as I'm going to dig. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill, <laughs> fill this hole back in. Shh, don't tell the owner. Well, it just goes to show you when you give up. I mean, I really had pretty much given up. I was just like swinging, walking back to the car. And I found a musket ball. My first relic of the day. Well, I guess it's a, it might not be a relic, but it's a fired musket ball, round ball. Made out of lead. It may not be from the Civil War. It could be from a hunter. But at least it's old. But there's a lot of trash on this part of the property. That's that sinkhole down there where that old bottle was. I was just kind of falling the ravine up. Uh, it's not a big sinkhole, but uh, at least we found a bullet today. <laughs> uh, truck's just up over the hill. It's not too much further. This guy has more keys on his property, I think, than any property I've ever seen. At least of comparable size. Neato. You can tell they've been putting logs and stuff here for years. There's a hole down there, but that big hole up there might, we might be able to get in. We're gonna spend a day out here just uh, exploring these holes. I'm just kind of looking for them today. This isn't the old road bed. It should cross through here somewhere though, going that direction. Uh, this looks like something that they made not too long ago. Uh, oh wow, there's a big sinkhole up there too. Let's look at that. I'll leave my metal detector there. They got a bull in here uh, that apparently is overly friendly. It'll come in like, get all over you and push you and try to stand on you. And he weighs like a thousand pounds, so we've got to be careful about that. I don't want him sniffing around that metal detector and breaking it. Yeah, it looks like a big crack, really. Doesn't it? Just figure out how to... Ooh, wow! Boy, that goes way down. Wow, look at that. Listen. 
probably can't. <coughs> Man, I hope I don't croak. I want you to listen to the wife and not come out today. Man, it goes way down. That's awesome. All right, this is probably going to be about the last sinkhole, I think. Because I can see the house right up there. We're almost back to where we were. All right, what's that? Oh, so far so good, boys. Boys. That's a nice one. Woo. I don't know if it goes anywhere, but let's go down there, ways and check it out. What do you say? Oh, there's a big room back there, boys. I'm gonna roll this rock over here and you'll hear it. Looks like a decent sized room. Okay, you ready? If I can make it. Ready? Here we go. I know this isn't terribly exciting, so I'm gonna stop it for now. Um, when we come back, we'll move a couple of these big rocks and get right down in there, though. It won't be any problem at all. This is really pretty. Isn't that pretty? You got moss right there. You can see that warm air, how the air comes up out of there. Right out right the top. It's no solution channel right there. So what do you say? One more? <laughs> well, I'm going to go. Another big sink here. I think it's worth checking out. I'm so, it's, I don't know, I just enjoy this. This is fun. The unknown. All right, what's this one look like so far? Looks pretty interesting. Wow. That's the same one we just came out of. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Um, yeah, what happened is I set my metal detector way down the hill there. And I had to go get it. So I came and got it. And I was wandering up the hill detecting. And I saw another beautiful sinkhole. It's terrible. I should have stayed home today. I can make it home. I have to get one of you guys to come rescue me. All right, a little more detecting. Um, we're getting close. Ay, ay, ay. Hope these are some batteries in this thing. I think it's still beeping, isn't it? Yeah, we're good to go. Well, since they're right on their way, we might as well check them out. Hey, we're just going over there where the bobcat's running. All right, another key. This is really weird looking how they got the stuff all, all over the tops of them. I don't know. They must have pushed them up here with a dozer or something years ago. I bet someone dug it out. <laughs> so we're not the first ones. I don't know we're not the first ones in these. I've already heard on good authority that we're not the first ones on these. Unless we dig it out. All right, let's take a look at this one. That's weird. Somebody absolutely covered it over, so there must be something here. Well, that's a heck of a uh, shaft, isn't it? Whew. Look how rough those walls are, man. That would tear you up. The clothes. Wow. Um, yeah, you went, you come out of there, you'll be covered with blood, I guarantee it. Drop a rock down there, see what we hear, what do you say? Here's a couple of these little ones, I don't drop any big ones. Yeah, just going down to the leaves. Yeah, I think somebody dug it out, man. It's one of the reasons for those rocks to be piled up like that. Right there. I mean, if a farmer did it, they would have thrown them in the hole, you know what I mean? Actually, they probably did. I'm not going to go back to that other sinkhole again. I promise you. Oh, gosh. Well, there's a couple more sinks right here. I'm not even going to get my flashlight out, though. Those look fresh, don't they? Those grapes. <clears throat> Yeah, it kind of goes down in there. There's another sink over there, but I don't think it's very deep. And, well, let's look at it. There's a house right there, so we're at the end of that part of the property. There's really not too much more to go. I definitely want to uh, keep detecting, though, because you always, uh, I'll drop a, uh, we'll look in there for sure. And I'll put a uh, post in it. Ah, look where something comes out of that hole. It's all the mud all around it. That means the, uh, Raccoons are coming in and out of it a bunch. Oh, that's a heck of a hole. I don't think anybody's ever been down that one. <gasps> Dude! Wow! Now, you would think they would have dug this one out. Look at that. That's the best one so far. Let's go walk down there and see what we can hear. You ready? This is an automatic plenty big. Alrighty, here we go.
go. I can see it's plenty of I mean, no problem standing up and walking around down there. Wow, that's cool. No raccoon coming in and out of it. There's another part of the hole there. Uh, we can definitely get in that one. Um, I'll take a little work. Might have to break a couple of those rocks, though. Let's go check this uh, leg breaker out right here. That is definitely a leg breaker. That keeps on going too down in there. I'll throw a log in it. All right, good. Um, we're gonna walk up through this area too, look around for a couple more sinkholes, do a little detecting. And uh, we've got about not too much longer. Yeah, I went ahead and put a tree in there, branch, and put some branches on top of it. Get the cows from stepping in and i'm going to come back out here again and do these caves and when we do that i'll make that more permanent uh so the cows you know i'll put some rocks in there or something next time but i want to dig this thing out first well we have to look at these <laughs> this is a big one too there is a couple big holes here there's, there's some more sinkholes over there i mean we're almost at the fence so um it won't be too much longer Oh, the mud coming down there. Looks like something's been in and out of it. Yeah, that definitely goes down in there. Should we go look a little bit? Oh, I'm not gonna go down there. I'm so, ow! I just stabbed myself in the mouth of the. Yeah, let's go down there at least. That's not too far. Look at the uh, claw marks on the rocks. Hope it's not bare. I'm gonna build a big old hibernating block there down here. Be horrible, wouldn't it? Well, that didn't go very far. Not far at all, does it? Fair. I thought it was a giant snake. <laughs> Alright. So lazy. Didn't even uh, take my pack off. No more crawling in them. We'll just look at them from up top. Cow trail over here. Ooh. Pretty impressive place, man. This guy's got some uh, lot of little caves on it. Have you seen them there? I'm not going to go down in there. Like I said, we're going to come back to it. Oh, wow. So full of breakdown. This is a really old cave system. And uh, most of it's collapsed, obviously. So the chances of getting a decent cave around this area is not going to be very good. Well, let's go look at this since we're here. Don't worry about thinking about it. Yeah, it definitely goes down there. Oh, those briars get up. <laughs> That's why my arms are all torn up. Yeah, that's a nice little cave in there. So we're rocking there. What do you say? Let me get a smallish one. There's a good one ready. Let's listen. Shh. Uh, not too far. One more. Slightly bigger. You ready? Shh. No. I mean, it could be big, but it may not be. It probably isn't. Oh, wow, let's me up, man. That's why I'm always covered with cuts. Well, that smashing myself with tools. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is that the fence? That propane tank. That's a weird find. That must be like from the 1919s. Look at the little tiny the valve on the top. Let's go look at this thing. Hopefully, it's just some old clothes. Not an animal. Hey, that's not fit the metal detector, by the way. That's strange. I don't know what that is. All right, this might be it, fellas and gals. Um, if I don't see anything else neat, this is the official sign off for the video. Um, I can see my truck is right over there, so we don't have too much further to go. Although we have about 200 yards of woods walking. In an area I had not been yet. So, who knows? I'm definitely going to de be detecting on the way back. There's a house right across the fence. That's probably trash from that place. Kids coming over here or something, I guess. You see what I've been through today. My truck's right there. I can see it right there. And look what I just done. <laughs> Civil War bullet. <laughs> and I think that is a weird one <laughs> that's a dropped um enfield 
but I think it's a weird casting. It's got a weird casting thing on it. Let's clean it off a little. That's a casting sprue right there. That's where they, how they molded it. It's a very crude one, but that is a dropped Confederate bullet. Going to keep hunting for a few more minutes. <laughs> oh, at the very end of the day, can you believe it? At least it's easy hunting out here, huh? All right, one more bullet and we're gonna hit the road. You see it? That is a uh, musket ball, a drop 59 caliber or 69 caliber. Civil War musket ball. We are in a camp. Sweet. Uh, this couple with the Enfield tells me this is a uh, Confederate camp and um, you could find something good here, man. Wow, I can't believe we're right next to the truck. <laughs> Uh, you know, I almost, this was going to be my last detecting trip out here for a while. Um, but after finding two bullets, I think we're going to be hanging out here again soon. Maybe tomorrow if it's not raining too hard. <laughs> All right, last target of the day, and you're going to dig it with me. Nice little squeak right there. I suspect it's a bullet. It's right there. There's an electric fence about 10 feet from me with some horses. So you might be hearing that beeping, bud. All right. Hopefully it's a bullet. This clay is gonna get wicked hard. Um, soon, soon as it sucks right out. Jeez, oh, so tired. All right, I probably got it right there. If not before. Uh, you see it? <laughs> I don't see anything. All right. Uh-oh, I hear something over here. Hope that's not the signal because that's not a bullet, whatever it is. It could be something still buried, though. Ah, thank it, Oh, no, it's in my hand. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a bullet. <laughs> that is um, a little bullet, probably a pistol ball. That's a sprue on the top. Could be fired, could be carved. I suspect it's probably carved since we're in a camp. Maybe we try to find one more bullet. What do you say? One more. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy.